the notes in the, in the scale are numbered from 1 to 8. So let's uh, go ahead and look at the notes in the D flat scale. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. They're all numbered. So when we play the song, What a Friend We Have in Jesus, we're playing 5, 5, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1, 6. And that's really all we need to know to figure out what the gospel voicings are for this particular song. Those numbers, we just simply look them up in our reference manual, and the reference manual will tell us which gospel voicing to use for each number. It's that simple. Here we have the music for What a Friend We Have in Jesus. We have the first line of the hymn. And what we did was we went to each note and put the number which corresponds to the note under the note. For example, uh, the first note here uh, is an A flat. And the A flat is the fifth note of the D flat scale. So that's why we have a five, Roman number five, under the A flat. So we have what a friend. Friend, uh, that's a B flat. And a B flat is the sixth note of the D flat scale. So that's why we have a number six under the B flat. Uh, we go on to we. Uh, that's an A flat. That is the fifth note of the scale. Have. That's an F. The F is the third note in the D flat scale. In. Uh, that is a two. The second note of the D flat scale. And then we have Jesus. D flat and B flat. Which uh, are the one and the six. Uh, so. Uh, this process works on any song. So take your song. And just write the numbers that correspond to each one of the notes. And by doing this, you're going to get the most color in your song by using the gospel chords play by number system. You're going to be able to play a different chord on each note. That's going to give your song the most color and flavor. Now that we have our song numbered with Roman numbers, all we do is we look up each one of those Roman numbers in our core reference manual. Not the tutorial, but the reference manual. The reference manual contains gospel voicings for each one of the tones of the scale, 1 through 8. So we simply look up, for example, if we want the gospel voicing that we're going to play on the word what, for what a friend we have in Jesus, the what is a 5. So we go to the reference manual on the section of the 5, and we choose one of the gospel voicings available for the five. And right here in the reference manual we have a nice picture of the chord, information about the chord uh, that it wants us to play on the five. Here we're looking at a D flat major nine. The first chord it wanted us to play is a D flat major nine. Let's hear how that chord sounds. begin our song, What a Friend We Have in Jesus, and that is the fifth tone of the scale, A flat. A flat is the fifth tone, one, two, three, four, five. That's where we start the song with the word what. So that A flat note is on the top, and we're going to play the D flat major nine, which has that A flat on the top, and this is the chord that we get. change our chord, we're going to play a different chord. So the A flat is still going to be on top. That A flat is still a 5, the fifth note in the scale of A flat. One, two, three, four, five. What a friend. So we're going to just see how that second chord sounds that is also possible for the 5. We simply open our book to the same section we were just in on the 5 and choose one of the available chords for the 5. Uh, let's just pick this, uh, this C chord and see how it sounds. It wants us to play a 
C minor 7 sharp 5. Let's hear how that sounds. Okay, let's put the two chords together, the first one and the second one, on the words what, uh. Let's hear how that sounds. So D flat major 9 followed by that passive chord, which is a C minor 7 plus 5. Let's look at the chord that it wants us to play on the word uh in what a friend. Uh, that's still a 5. It wants us to play an F sharp 9, sharp 5. F7, sharp 9, sharp 5. Let's uh, look at that and let's hear how that sounds. Okay, let's hear how this chord sounds. The F, which is an F7, sharp 9, sharp 5 that it wants us to play. Uh, on the word uh in, in what a friend. Let's hear how this F chord sounds. Wow! That's a beautiful chord right there, that uh, F7, sharp 9, sharp 5. Let's go ahead and put the first three chords together. We're doing what a. Uh, and we're going to play that passing chord, C in the middle. Let's put those three together and see what we come up with. Okay, let's look at the chord it wants us to play on the word friend, the B flat, which is a six. Let's see what we got here. It wants us to play an E flat minor. Okay, let's hear this chord, which is the E flat minor nine that it wants us to play. Uh, let's go ahead and hear it. And that's what we're going to play on the word friend. Uh, that friend. That B flat is the sixth tone of the scale. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the word friend. So we have blood a friend. So uh, let's hear that E flat one more time. Friend. Okay, let's hear it all together now. What a friend. With the passing chord, uh, we're playing five, five, six. What a friend. What a friend. Five, five, six. The A flat is the fifth note of the scale. The B flat is the sixth note of the scale. So the reference book told us which chords to play, which one to play for the, for the five, and which one to play for the six, and as well as which ones to play uh, for the other tones. Let's go ahead and hear this. Okay, let's go ahead. The, the next tone is going to be uh, another five on the word we. Uh, we can play the, the chord we played before, which would be that F7 sharp 9 sharp 5. Let's hear how that sounds. we can play if we don't like that one because with the system there are lots of choices that you have available. So if we don't like that one, we can always play this F minor 7. And let's hear how that sounds. This is an F minor 7 sharp 5. So we can either play that one or this one. We have choices. 